It's a nationwide flu crisis, and the Sun Coast is no exception. So how are local hospitals responding to this problem? SNN's Hallie Pilot finds out. It seems to be the same story everywhere. You're seeing about triple the amount of flu cases that we typically see in a given year. We've actually seen approximately triple the number of uh, influenza patients this year as compared to last year. Last January at Doctors Hospital, there were 44 cases of flu. This month, they've seen 145. Just it seems that every other patient has flu symptoms, um, cough, cold, influenza, A or B swab, positive, and that's really crowding the emergency department. So much that now some doctors are skipping the swab. Right now, the CDC is not recommending that we do a lot of testing. If the patients are presenting with the flu symptoms, the physicians is going ahead and starting the treatment process. Most patients are discharged from the hospital and advised to follow up with their primary care physician. But the flu season isn't the only season raising concern for hospitals. Into the beat of season and seeing lots of patients caring for them if, you know, majority of them require, you know, admission uh, because they're elderly. And have an increased population. risk of other complications. Some patients are having to be admitted. They usually have other issues that are going on when they do have to be admitted for flu. People who've had pneumonia, or, or I'm sorry, have had uh, influenza and come back with a post influenza pneumonia. The hospitals and urgent cares aren't running out of beds, just hours, mainly at the Sarasota Memorial Urgent Care on University and Honore. This specific location for the month of February on Mondays will be open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m., which is an hour earlier and an additional two hours later. 